A stately London bridge overlooks an unusually tranquil Thames River. But the tranquility is ironic, since empty piers and idle ships mean labor trouble. The 65,000 member National Union of Seamen strikes for higher wages and a shorter work week. The strike is serious and could cripple the British economy, so dependent on imports and exports. Some 600 ships, including the giant Queen Elizabeth, are affected by the walkout, and a state of national emergency is proclaimed by Prime Minister Wilson. Car ferry terminals are closed at a time when tourist traffic is unusually heavy. Britain in a state of virtual blockade, while labor talks between the seamen and the ship owners continue.